What in the Blast Oasis evolved from an apocalyptic dick millennium? That was really sad. I'm really sad. I didn't want them to die. It's because you're carrying everyone's hopes and dreams. Yes. No, no, it moved, it moved. What a waste. I mean, this is actually super easy to kill, not gonna lie. Oh, it's at level 71. It's lower level than all of us, no wonder it's easy to kill. Hey, come back here. Defeat monsters to advance the revitalization process. Thank you for protecting me with your elemental power. Why? I'm too far away. Again. I'm too far away. I will wait for her no matter how long it takes. This is the agreement we made. Okay, you what? Enough. That's it. Come here, you. Stop protecting it. Head to the cheek. Die, flower. Speed of light. Everyone hold hands. The temple of wisdom. The power of the ended fight. Don't blink. What is this thing? Deadly monsters incoming. Speed of light. Did it. Can we get rid of like swamp green color? Can we become like a more foresty green? Like that color? Because I don't like the soft green. It's really ugly. Tiny. You see what I mean? Dendro dude's small. Hi. Uh, give me a sec. I just wanna. I Dude, I missed you. Enter the shield of revival. Him to defend against the aftershocks of the apocalypse. Eh, maybe not. Oh come on! I almost made it in. You're also super really easy to kill. But I appreciate that they had more than one stage. Hey! Can you hear Paimon? Say something! You fungi said that your form didn't matter, right? Then let us know that you're alright! That's enough, Paimon. Their knowledge, memories, and emotions have been reverted to elemental power and released. They are no longer able to respond to you. The guardians that have accompanied me for countless eras have also transformed into my elemental power. Just as they did. They will be born once again now that they're one. There's nothing to be sad about. But that's different! They won't ever be the same. Paimon, we will never understand it, and it will never understand us. That's how it's destined to be. But as long as you can be healthy again, then nothing else matters to me, Apep. Samara will be free from threat as long as your health is maintained. I thought that my rage would be kindled once my power returned to me. However, what I feel now is a feeling that has long eluded me. The feeling of peace. The forbidden knowledge influenced you ever since you were contaminated, greatly amplifying your hatred and rage. Yes, there's no denying that. 
Although my hatred for that usurper from beyond the heavens still stirs deep within me, destroying you and your people serves me no purpose. Be that as it may, my position still stands, and I will have nothing to do with you. Well, Nahida's already made it clear that she really honestly doesn't care about you. <laughs> you can tell that from the way she phrased it. She just wants to make sure Sumeria is safe, and as long as you're healthy, that's all that matters. You can be as, as uninvolved as you like. When you inevitably perish due to your ever-expanding curiosity, <laughs> I will still sneer and mock you in my heart. Wow. <laughs> that's some grudge. Sheesh. Who can put up with you? I respect your decision. And with time, I will prove to you that we will not repeat our mistakes. Before you begin resting, there is one last thing I would like to know. How did you become affected by forbidden knowledge? It's a long story. We all once believed in the distant past that only forbidden knowledge could give us enough power to defeat the heavenly principles. The Dragon King acquired the power of darkness from outside of this world and led us in a fight against the order established by the Outsiders. D dragon King? An unimaginable war took place into that, causing destruction on an unprecedented scale. The world itself was on the verge of collapse. I don't think I understand these reflections around Paimon. Her reflection is not going to extend all the way out to this rim, so this is just awkward. In war, the victor would inherit the right to shape the world, while the losers must turn into ash. But I didn't give up on searching for a way to turn the tides, even after the death of the Dragon King. As I attempted to collect more forbidden knowledge from the corners of the world, as it was on the verge of collapse, I was stopped by the giant spike that fell from the sky. Sand dunes arose where there was only forest. And it was as if even Sumeru itself was trying to tell me that the era of the dragons was over. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember what the whole spikes thing was when we went underground in the chasm and we were doing with that. Like, I don't remember any of that. So i am just been like glazing over any mention of the spikes because I just assume it's something we've dealt with that I don't remember. But you still didn't give up, did you? Because of Amun... Alakmar. Yes. Alakmar eventually obtained this power with the help of Nabu Malikata. His ambitions continue to grow, and he planned to establish a powerful kingdom in my domain. Although I didn't think much of him, I allowed his actions under one condition. The condition was that after his death, all the knowledge he came to accumulate would belong to me. At that time, I still harbor deep regrets. By the time the Dragon King finally returned, the world had irrevocably changed. Some of the dragons have grown close to your kind and have forgotten all about our hatred from when the world was taken from us. And some died, leaving behind nothing but their bones, while others chose to flee after experiencing pain and agony. But for me, the scales and will of the Dragon King still shine bright in my heart, even to this day. I don't know if it's just because I'm like super tired because the story is putting me to sleep. I don't really understand anything she's trying to say about the Dragon King. This is the first time I've heard about a Dragon King and like she's speaking words but they're not really telling me anything. So I hope we touch on that one day because uh, this is meaning nothing to me. I will follow it until the end of my time. <sighs> you really are insane. That's not really a nice thing to say to somebody. When Alakmar's proud kingdom collapsed, I swallowed him whole as I agreed and absorbed his elemental power. However, what I gained was no benefit. No. I gained the apocalypse. No one to blame it yourself for that one. I used up all my strength just trying to keep the pain under control. I had no energy to analyze the knowledge he had accumulated. Yeah, it sounds like you're trying to be angry and blame someone, but that one's really on you. But even then, I still believe that his insanity was far greater than that of my own. Debatable. 
So that's how the apocalypse started. I admit that I fell for his trap. I was like a final failsafe in his plan. Tiny Boomer, and the rest of you, continue forward. I shall keep a watchful eye. How far will the life so dear and precious to the heavenly principles be able to go? I wonder. rest for a very long time before it is fully healthy again. It's not as ruthless as it was before. Curing the dragon of its illness has seemingly made it more open to reason. Nobody's in a good mood when they're feeling sick. Even though we accomplished something really important, Paimon still doesn't feel happy for some reason. Bringing everyone home was supposed to be a happy occasion, but it seems to have lost some of its meaning. Indeed. Although they'll still have the chance to be born again, They've lost their memories of their journey, and their feelings for their homeland. Each opportunity for growth is unique in its own way. Perhaps the immense power we released was the pouring out of all these irreplaceable emotions that had built up over time. Can you really call a place with no family your home? Yes. People with no family do it all the time, Paimon. Family... Right! The Hydrofungus left behind its family! Those two fungi might be waiting for it to return. It didn't tell them that it was leaving? Oh, yeah. Let's hurry and go take a look! Huh. How are we going to explain all the complicated things that happened? Go back. Okay. Maybe they understood its feelings as it, uh... It, it evolved? Maybe? I kid. And therefore they already understand emotionally what happened? Even if they can't grasp it mentally? They're still here! Have they really been waiting here all this time? <laughs> We're back. <sighs> I'm sorry. I really am. But... It's gone home, and won't be able to return for a very long time. Don't be sad. It did it to protect you. Your happiness is more important to it than anything else in the world. It said that Newer is its most important family member. Ah, the name of the kid! That's your name, isn't it? She finally remembered her kid's name. This is wonderful! So it has left traces of itself after all. They will definitely meet again. Someday. A very, very long time from now. And that is Nahida's 2.0 complete. I know. You're as happy. What about you, friend of, of unnamed fungus? Okay, I, I mean, I wouldn't say it was uninteresting, but I wouldn't say it was particularly interesting. It told a story that I had didn't really care about. It didn't teach me anything about the lore of the world. I, yeah, no, I, I really didn't learn anything that I find valuable to the lore of Sumeru. It seems like a kind of made up lore about Sumeria as it went to try and make it feel like the quest was justified but in the end in the larger scheme of things what we learnt doesn't really impact anything in Sumeria it doesn't change our knowledge of anything in Sumeria on its history or its future it kind of really has no relevance at all I don't feel like Nahida's evolved in any way I don't feel like the travellers learnt anything along the way I, it, it just didn't really go anywhere. I do admit I felt sad when the, the fungi were giving up their essences, not really fungi, but they were fungi, uh, to help revitalize the dendro dragon. But other than that, I just don't care, especially about the dendro dragon. There's just no caring whatsoever in that direction. So I don't know that it was 
a bad story quest. I just find it irrelevant. Which is sad, but it is what it is. Do I get any achievements for any of that? Let's go. No. Which, did I get any Prima gems for that? Should probably be the more important question. Not many is the answer. But I will take them nonetheless. Excuse me, I don't care about the black tassel. Oh, another Phonius sword. Got a few of them stashed up now. Is anyone using a Favonius sword? Oh, what does this Favonius sword look like? Oh, you're at full refinement. Okay, that's what I was going to check. I was like, does it need to be further refined? But no, I had plenty and I got the job done. So I have two spares. Okay. Good to know. I'm so glad that I went to the effort of crafting this and then just never used it. Super. For work life balance, but uh, I, think this I is was gonna keep it. going with the school mini games and then the quests, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm quite tired, so I don't know that persevering is really in my best interest. Um, maybe, maybe just one mini game. Project Connectivity Dia from Kashara Wat seems to be busy with something. Okay, let's just go do this before I my eyelids just drop. Oh, that's right. This is where we were trying to get where we stumbled upon this quest. Yeah, because we went around this way and then Nahida's quest procced. Yeah, that. So this time, let's actually make it to the stall. What was that? Oh, it was a doggo sitting in the middle of the pathway. Hi! Oh, there's two schools here. Well, I've come specifically to see you, Daya. Hello there, I'm Daya from Kasharawa. Are you here to take part in the Wisdom Gala too? This is the new game that our Darshan has put forth, Project Connectivity. Would you like to have a go at it? If I recall, Kasharawa's specialty is... We study mechanics and architecture, yes. Uh, seems like I've gone off topic. So to take part in this gala, many of our students put their heads together. And the result was Project Connectivity. Basically, players will need to use the various objects that we have prepared to, well, create a pathway. Laying down bridges, setting up stairs, the eventual goal is to create a path for people to travel on that can reach its destination. Once you have finished constructing that road, we will conduct a final verification, just like how we would test completed buildings. Essentially, you just need to set up a safe road to attain access. Sounds... I haven't much of a knack for architecture. Don't worry, don't worry, you're not being asked to construct anything in real life. If something goes wrong and the road collapses, we'll just have to rebuild it. We're not putting limits on the number of tries you have either. Just let your imagination run free and build as beautiful a road it can be. Okay. Spend construction points in construction mode during project connectivity to construct a road and use the test mode to check if the road you have created will take you from the desk designated to start through all the check... Oh, you can go through all the checkpoints. Okay. Checkpoints can be accessed in any order. Is there, is there an end or you just got to hit the checkpoints and then you're done? In test mode, you need to stay on pre-built or placed construction materials. If you fall, you'll be sent back to the start or to a checkpoint. In test mode, getting through all the checkpoints will constitute a successful challenge. Upon success, the less total construction points you spent, the higher the score will be. Each challenge will grant you different construction materials with different costs. The continued use of each construction material will cause its cost to increase. Oh god, use different materials suitably to create the best. What if you get stuck? What happens if you get stuck, Daya? This sounds bad. Unable to use character skills to switch characters during challenge, don't care. Using more of the same material will gradually increase construction points consumed. In this challenge, checkpoints are positioned at similar heights but different locations. Perhaps using large construction materials could have a, pave a decent path. Can I at least jump and glide? Is that a thing I can do? They don't have to touch, right? Mmm. I don't like this one. This is too much like the Serenity Pot. Check the distribution of the starting points and checkpoints. What? Yeah, I'm not blind. I can see it. <sighs> okay. But we don't want that. Because then you have to go back down. But I guess it does use... Oh. But I can use that. So I can't use my skill. How do I make it go down? 
No, I don't want me to go down. I want it to go down. Jesus, this is complicated. I don't like this at all. If you jump to that, how far are you going to shoot? So if I... If I go to here... I can get about halfway-ish. Okay. Exit freeze. Return to the nearest... Yeah, confirm, whatever. I'd like to continue constructing, please. Hello? Escape return. Yes. I have to think about this. Okay, so I got to about half-ish way across. So if I just put one of these here... We can then just jump the rest of the way, right? Maybe a bit closer, because it's going to have to go down. Oh, it can't go through the ground? Hmm, well in that case, move it back, because I'm going to ram into that. Sure, okay, let's just pretend that works. Uh, I can only have one of those, that sucks. Is this all I have? I have nothing else to use. Okay. Well. Uh, how far can you jump, traveler? I don't think a traveler can jump that far. So I'll need something for you to land on. On the other side. Can I climb in this? Rotate. Oh, we can't do diagonals? Oh, that's a bit of a bitch. Whatever. We'll just roll with it. And then... A house that I can't jump on top of. Yeah, that sounds great. Uh, maybe... Put some stairs leading up to it? Yeah, whatever, we'll come back. Vertical movement down. Uh, sure. Oh, so I can't even just finalize it. Ugh, that is so dumb. Maybe. Well, I mean, I'm going to move you over once. So that might be okay. Yeah, sure, whatever. So, with that in mind... Ugh! That's just way too tall. Uh, can we have two of those, please? Just in case. I don't have to get back to the... I don't know if I can... Yeah, we'll see. Let's go. See where all the problems lie. I don't think this is going to work quite the way I want it to, but whatever. I don't know if I can climb. It's another big problem I have. Okay, checkpoint one reached. I can climb! Brilliant! This makes it way more easy. Way easier, you know what I meant. This one's going to be the issue. Fine. Now this is where we're going to have some problems. Actually, we can just go straight. I don't even need to use the other two. Yay. Exit. And we got all three stars, which is all we needed. Maybe I was too conservative. <laughs> give me round two, please. The struggle was real, but give it to me. Using more of the materials in this challenge, the checkpoints are positioned in a ring-like shape that gradually rises. Okay. So you want to go that way. Okay. Do 
Roger, Roger. Hmm. Well, I think you would want to put this... Is there a reason why it's so large? Oh, God. Yes, yes, there is. Get out of here. Ah, oh, goddammit. You'd want that to get onto that, yeah? Film. And then just go around up to here. And you likely can just grab onto that from there. So I'm not going to stress about that or that. So we just need to get from here to here. I still think this was a good idea. This was a great strategy. Let's continue to employ this one. Although, you know, let's put it in the right direction. And then reaching to that with this was a great idea. Just gotta move them, you know. Over there. Ah, I accidentally grabbed him again. Actually, oh my god, I keep doing that. I can probably use him somewhere else. Oh, well, we're here now. Whatever. That, 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 that. So now we get to here. I'd like to use another staircase, please. Oops. And then we jump at it. Yes. And that brings us to... How do I... Eh. Uh, they stick to the ground. Oh, they stick to the ground. Hold on. Can you not go there? Thanks. Use the things that stick to the ground. God, the odds of me actually being able to land on this, though, are pretty slim. Uh, what's the height of this thing? That may present a problem. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. This may indeed be an issue. I don't know about this one. We'll come back. But they stick to the ground. Which means there's no point using them. This, however, can float. So. You just want to make it go higher. Yeah, and then you can just fly down. Oh god, I keep touching it because it's the same button eh, as it is to rotate. Uh, and then we just need to go here. So just put another one, right? Yeah. I think you'll make it. If not, so sad. Okay, let's see where our failure points are. I think right here is our first failure point. Oh god. <laughs> I forgot this is not the same as the last one. I actually have to jump. I can bypass all of it. I don't need any of you. I'm being way too conservative here with my ideas. <laughs> Uh, I feel like I'm more safe this day. Poor boy. Oh god. Please don't let me fall. This is so not how I planned on doing this, but that's okay. I think being able to climb on these is such a lifesaver. It kind of just makes it so much easier. I think this challenge is overly easy, and I'm complicating it. Because I want it to be harder. Boom. Yeah, I'm making it way harder than it has to be. 